Welcome to BrainFeed Magazine. In this story, you will learn about the density of various objects and how that affects their buoyancy in water. Let's get started. Ishan, a keen learner with natural curiosity, had a mini science lab at home. At the village pond, Ishan observed some objects floating on the water's surface while others sunk. Intrigued, Ishan started filling the basin with water and collecting an array of items. Carefully placing a wooden block in the water, Ishan's eyes lit up with delight as it floated. Recognizing the block's lower density than water, Ishan embarked on further experiments. An iron nail, dropped with a splash, sunk, prompting Ishan's pondering. Swiftly, Ishan introduced a plastic bottle cap, which danced on the water's surface. Ishan's trials unfolded the magical world of buoyancy, revealing that objects with air, like the bottle cap, floated due to their lighter nature. In contrast, denser objects, such as the iron nail, sunk. Ishan's classmates gathered at his lab, engrossed by the floating spectacle. His floating adventure not only unveiled the mystery of buoyancy but also ignited a passion for science among the children. The mini lab became a vibrant space where young minds explored, learned, and reveled in the joy of discovery. That brings us to the end of the story. Here you learned. Different objects have different density, which lets them float or sink in the water. We hope you like this story. Stay tuned to BrainFeed TV, our YouTube channel.